guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. As you guys can tell, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, I haven't really showed my face in most of my recent YouTube uploads just because my face has been going through it, okay? So I'm here with you guys today, as you guys can tell by the title, to give you guys my one month acne update. I guess we can call it one month acne update. So before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below because why not? And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up so I know what kind of videos you guys are enjoying. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for those of you guys who did not watch my initial acne video slash update slash beginning of my acne journey i'll go ahead and link it up in the cards but just to give you guys backstory i have had clear skin my whole life and about six months ago i started breaking out and about two-ish months ago it started getting really bad so last month i went to visit an aesthetician for the first time and we started on my journey of clearing my acne clearing my inflammation as well as my hyperpigmentation so i'm here with you guys today to give you guys a one month update to share with you guys what's been going on how my skin has been acting and all of that all of that so right now i only have one eyebrows and mascara and my fresh skin just wanted to get on here bare face but i didn't want to come on without my eyebrows because i would have been looking like a naked mole rat but um yeah so this is how my skin is looking right now we do have a few breakouts so on july 8th i visited my aesthetician for the second time and now I'm here to give you guys an update. I basically visit her once a month. And whenever I visit her, I do plan on giving you guys an update after, you know, I'm looking presentable because she be having me peeling sometimes. Okay, so during this visit with my aesthetician, I did my first ever acne laser treatment. And y'all, yeah, I was shook. Like before I went, my sister did it the month before me. And she was like, it's going to hurt. I know it's going to hurt you because I experience pain more than my sister does so i was like shook i was just like oh my god like i can't wait for this to be over so basically when i got there i changed up she gives me like a little top to put on and a head wrap and a like shower cap type of thing just to keep my hair out of the way so she did the usual the double cleanse the exfoliation x y and z and then she put the little eye mask things on me and she got to work and i wanted to record it but yeah i was so scared i'm like i don't know what i'm about to experience i don't know how i'm about to react and i don't want to make a fool of myself so i was like i'm not recording this time also i couldn't see so i was just like let me just wait and i'll do it like next time because i probably would have been looking crazy but overall i don't think that it hurt the only thing that had me kind of shook was the smell so basically with the acne laser treatment she did three passes and then she did um pulse taps on anywhere where i had any breakouts any bumps or she detected that i was gonna break out anytime soon so when she was pulsing on bumps that i had and breakouts like in these areas it did hurt a little bit more but what shook me the most was the smell so it is equivalent to the laser for hair removal so so I'm, I'm a hairy girl. I'm a hairy girl. I have a lot of hair on me. But um, I never realized how much hair I had on my face until I started smelling what was going on. And after she was finished, she was like, how did it feel? And I was like, it was fine, but what's that smell? And she was like, oh, um, that basically any like small hairs that I had, it basically like lasered it off. And that's the smell that it made. So I was just like, okay, you know, that's fine. My sister did mention that she found that areas where she had more hair such as like you know above her lip and her sideburns hurt a little bit more but honestly the pain was consistent throughout my whole face for me that was just my experience so with the acne laser treatment you can customize it or your aesthetician can customize it to target certain things like when my sister did hers it was more targeted towards scars when she did mine it was more targeted towards breaking up my hyperpigmentation so going forward when i'm doing my appointments in the future it's easier to lift the pigmentation since it's not like one clump it's kind of broken up more into like sections or clusters and also when i got there she asked me if i had any immediate concerns and i was like girl yes my hyperpigmentation my skin has been looking crazy so she also gave me a slight pill to help lift some of the pigmentation not as much as like a chemical pill i'll go ahead and put a video slash pictures of what it looked like on the screen it was nowhere as 
severe as the pill that I had the first time I went to visit her. I was just like, yo, I'm about to be looking crazy once again. I stayed indoor for two days and it really wasn't that bad. I still wouldn't be outside looking like that, but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. And I also took a break from recording videos and showing my face in the camera just because I was looking crazy. So that was basically what I did during my second visit with my esthetician. After I did the acne laser treatment she did give me some new products to use for the next seven days so i'll go ahead and show those products to you guys no so this is a kit that she gave me this is a post procedure solution kit from pca skin this is the only brand skincare products that i am using right now and basically it came with these five products which i was instructed to use for the next seven days so this is what's in the kit so the first component of the kit is this face wash so i use this in the morning and the night i use a dime size mixed with water in order to cleanse my face the next component of the kit is clinicom one percent which is basically hydrocortisone and i use a nickel size of this um, during the day and also when i wash my face at night the next two components i i was instructed to mix together so this is basically um spf this is the perfected protection broad spectrum spf 30 so this spf is a little bit stronger than the one that i was using in my last video if you guys watched it so i basically use a pea size of this spf in the morning and i mix it with this rebalance so this rebalance is essentially like a facial moisturizer and i put about a dime size of this mixed with the pea size of the spf and that is how i coat my face to conquer the day and the last component of the kit is this silk coat balm which is basically a soothe rejuvenate and protect dry mature skin or skin in harsh climates with our heaviest moisturizer included antioxidants botanicals and hydrolyzed silk so this is basically what i put on my face at night after i cleanse and those are all of the components of the kit that she provided me with to use for the next seven days after doing my acne laser treatment so the next thing i want to speak about is how do i feel about the progression or what i've been seeing in my skin since I started this whole journey so the first thing that I want to know is that it's gonna sound crazy but I'll go ahead and explain it but my forehead is just skin like I do have hyperpigmentation on my forehead skill but my forehead is just skin like before I'll go ahead and put some clips and pictures that I have in my phone and from my camera of how my forehead looked before but my forehead was just like bumps like it looked crazy it felt crazy so the fact that like my forehead is a smooth surface now it just feels so weird to me because i haven't felt my forehead like this in about a couple of months and at the same time it also looks good because before when i put my makeup on it would just be like just sitting on top of a whole bunch of bumps and you can see like the 3d effect of it it was just a no-no honey so the fact that my skin has cleared up so much i really don't have any more inflammation i do have a free breakout around my nose as well as in this area here but other than that inflammation is gone honey which is a huge 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 improvement for me because inflammation was bad like it hurt it looked bad it was just a no so the fact that my inflammation is basically gone for the most part i'm super 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 excited about that and i did see a lot of progress with that so the next concern that i really have is hyperpigmentation which is basically all of these dark and discoloration marks on my skin so next month's appointment is going to be another acne laser treatment which is more focused on lifting the hyperpigmentation now as well as extraction so the extractions are going to get rid of all of these little bumps that i have on my face as well as like any new breakups that come up between now and then so i'm super super excited about that and during my appointment she told me she was like girl my goal is to give you clear skin by the new year so the fact that she's on the same type of time that i am means a lot to me so i'm i'm happy my skin is not in the best place obviously but i know that within the coming months i will feel more comfortable with my skin more confident with my skin and um yeah i don't 
I like wearing makeup, don't get me wrong. Like, I know how to do my makeup and make myself look good. But I never want to be in a place again where I have to solely rely on wearing makeup every day. Which it did get to that point about 2-3 months ago. But now, when I go to work, I don't even put on eyebrows because I've been focusing on helping my eyebrows grow more. But when I go to work on a regular day, I have on no makeup. And it just feels so weird because I was just so used to, like, throwing on a light face every day. And making sure I have my eyebrows on and making sure, like, you know I was covering my dark marks but now I feel way more confident and I'm even like wearing my hair up like exposing my forehead more just because your girl got some skin on her forehead now so it does feel good it feels great and yeah I'm super excited so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just wanted to give you guys a brief update um where I've been what's been going on with my skin how I'm feeling about my skin so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys comment down below with any questions that you guys may have make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and join the family because why not and make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy I'll go ahead and put my recent uploads here in case you guys are not caught up for whatever reason and until my next video I will see you guys later